What's up, YouTube? I'm gonna review Hugo Boss number one, Numero Uno. Now this is the first fragrance in the lineup that actually created the Boss House. And you know, before that they were just making clothes, so this is basically their first debut fragrance. Now this one I found at Ross, definitely wanted to check it out. It's very good if you're looking for a macho scent. I mean, this one definitely has that 80s rugged macho powerhouse quality to it. And it's a very refined kind of tobacco, mossy wood, green dry down. And it's definitely one of the green 80s scents. It doesn't have that much sweetness, but it has a very bold, refined quality to it. And it's kind of dry. It kind of has a heavy amount of moss when you actually look at this one. It just does not have the kind of sweetness and freshness that new fragrances have. But in this one, the sandalwood and the cedar and the cinnamon and the oak moss and the amber in this one give it a heavy, exotic, very bold kind of smell. And it's a very sharp scent. It's not something that is, you know, kind of fresh and clean. This is kind of the opposite. And it's kind of dirty and animalic in some ways. And the tobacco in this one gives it that kind of rustic feel. So, I mean, if you're into collecting 80s fragrances and like the powerhouses, this one is good in the lineup. You know, if you like the rich, woodsy, spicy fragrances like Dirty English, this is definitely one to check out. I mean, this kind of fragrance grows on you. And it's one of those fragrances that, you know, may take a while to get used to but it can be really good. So, you know, the, basically part of the trend where you take the 80s and you start to have powerhouse fragrances and they had a lot of green openings and then they would start to get into this mossy tobacco in the dry down and they kind of carried on that trend. And then you had the aromatic fougueres where they would get a lot of spices mixed in with the woods and, you know, they'd have kind of a fresh, seductive, very exotic side, like Dracker Gnar and a lot of those fragrances. And so the Boss Number One, you know, kind of follows along Dracker Gnar because it does have that aromatic fougere kind of feel that is very dry and sharp. And, you know, they definitely are not similar in smell, but they're similar in a few areas, you know, with the 80s kind of feel. But, you know, 20 years later, boom, this is a flanker of it. And they basically keep the Boss lineup for the nighttime fragrances. They use the Hugo for the soapy, fresh, clean daytime stuff. But Boss Soul doesn't smell like Boss at all. And it has, you know, basically a powdery vanilla in the dry down with some woods, but it's more powdery. Whereas this one, this is where the 80s had that kind of pungent, strong, distinctive boldness. And this one really has that feel to it. And so honestly, I would take this anytime, any day over Boss Soul just because it's a more bold scent. But that's my review, and thanks for watching.